Water is a very precious commodity, and we want to make sure we preserve that commodity for future generations. Is Mrs. Akimoto here? Is the fifth grade class even here? Come on up, guys. Why don't you come up? I say we we are traveling and meeting some of the schools and some of the people that have done these amazing projects throughout the state. Hold on one second, gang. I swear. Are you sure? I swear. Wow. Okay. This is big news. Real big news. The grand prize winner is the fifth grade class. <laughs> trip to Malibu, California. It was really overwhelming. It was really emotional. It was pride in my students. I was kind of humbled too. It was just this incredible. I'm still kind of processing the feeling of it. I feel 300% awesome on this project because it was like one of my favorite projects in my whole life. I'm like, we need to win this. I was especially impressed with, with the topic that the class picked. Miss Akimoto's fifth grade class came up with a project plan to test the water. Primarily driven from concerns the kids picked up on in the press what's happening in Flint, Michigan. They went through the process of learning about what kind of contaminants there are in the water, what's common, what are they looking for, and how do you go about water testing. I learned that some water is okay to drink and some in other cities and towns are not. I'm so incredibly proud of all the hard work that my students put into this. It was hours and hours of their own free time that they spent in the pursuit of knowledge, which as a teacher is the best thing that you could hope for, that your students love learning. We started the day with a lot of team building. We had them draw a scientist. We had the students testing out different adaptations on plants and what they looked like. We hiked down to a really cool spot that I love called the Grotto. The kids really like conquered their fears in, in I think a pretty big way. Once you're here you get to like explore all the cool stuff that's on the tides. You can go into the water and look at all the cool creatures that are in there. So we found some like plants that live in the ocean like seaweed and all that on the shore so we're like we need to save some wildlife out here. I feel like now I've learned more about our biomes and our environment and how to really save water which is just really cool to be out in the wild actually learning. It's probably going to change some ways that I use my water and like even though we're not really in a drought anymore you still have to conserve water. When I got here, I thought it was um, like kind of important. Now I think it's really important that we need to conserve water. This has been a really incredible experience. I have watched my kids grow so much in their independence in how they do things. I've watched them come alive with learning about things. All I've heard from them is how much fun they've had, how incredible it's been, and how much they've learned and what a good time they have had. What more could you ask for? 